Dear children, this is Mentors English Express and I am Sudha Oberoi. In this video, I am going to explain the students of class 10th, poem number 1, Dust of Snow, from their English book, First Flight. This poem is composed by Robert Frost. Let me tell you something about the poet first. Robert Lee Frost was born on March 26, 1874. He was an American poet famous for his realistic depictions of rural life and frequently wrote about settings from rural life in New England, using them to examine complex social and philosophical themes. In 1924, he won the first of four Pulitzer Prizes for the book New Hampshire. His poem, Dust of Snow, is a simple and short poem with an intense optimistic message. The poet explains that nature has healing powers. Here's the explanation of the poem. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from hemlock tree. Shook means to shake. Hemlock is a poisonous tree with small white flowers. A poet whose heart is full of pessimism, dejected and grieved, is walking under a snow-covered tree. When all of a sudden a crow shakes the branches of the hemlock tree and the dust of snow starts falling on him. The poet who is engrossed in his own thoughts is attracted towards the lovely mesmerizing scene which fills his heart with ecstasy. So the poet means to say that when the dust of snow falls on him, he looks up at the tree and admires its beauty. It has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rude. Mood means state of feeling. Rude means held in regret. Yet for reasons unknown is engrossed in his own thoughts. As the dust of snow falls upon him, his attention is diverted towards the snow-covered tree which is looking blissful and divine. The poet is overjoyed as his day is made. Now he would enjoy the rest of the day because he has come out of the gloomy, sad mood and become cheerful. Generally, when somebody is depressed, his whole day is spoilt and because of cranky mood, he is not able to concentrate on his work. But a joyful spirit works with enthusiasm. So the poet is thankful to the crow whose small act of shaking the tree saved his day from getting ruined. Let us discuss literary devices. First the rhyme scheme. Last word of the first line is crow which is A. Last word of second line is me which doesn't match with crow so it is B. Last word of third line is snow which matches with crow so it is A. And last word of fourth line is tree which rhymes with me so it is B. So crow and snow match and me and tree match. So it is A, B, A, B. Now the literary devices. First device is alliteration. Occurrence of consonant letter or sound at the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words is called alliteration. See the example in second paragraph has given my heart sound of H. Saved some part sound of s next device is inversion when the structure of a sentence is changed by the poet to create rhyme this poetic license is called inversion see in stanza one inversion can be seen next device is assonance the prominence of a vowel sound throughout the line is called assonance in stanza one see line number two shook down on me o sound is prominent and your next device is enjambment when the same sentence continues to the next line without the use of any punctuation mark it is called enjambment this poetic device has been used throughout the poem because there is no punctuation mark at the end of the lines so the thought continues to the next line Children, if you have enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe it. 
You can also write your comments in the comments box below. Thank you.